everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, we're going to take a look at just a slick 1974 Plymouth Cuda. This is a real Cuda, guys. It's got the BS VIN. Uh, great car. Uh, my buddy out of North Carolina, who's actually the one who found me this car, this car was owned by an older man. He's owned this car uh, since the mid-90s. This car was actually restored in the mid-90s. Um, great car. The only reason it came available and I was able to buy it is unfortunately his health is failing him, uh, so he had to sell the car. But uh, great car. Uh, again, original Cuda. Uh, it's got the matching numbers 360 uh, cubic inch engine in it, matching number 727 trans. Um, he's beefed it up, I guess if you'd say. It's got a comp cam and lifters in it, uh, shift, uh, shift kit in the trans. Uh, just a neat car, though. Runs and drives excellent. I love this color. I didn't even know this was available, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it, I believe it's E7 is the code, which is burnished red metallic. Uh, very cool color on this car. Again, the car was done in the uh, mid-90s. I've got some receipts for it uh, when the car was restored. But uh, so you can nitpick some of the, you can nitpick the paint, guys. I'm not going to say it's horrible, but uh, it's not it's nothing like that. I wouldn't paint the car, but there's definitely some stuff that you can nitpick on it. Um, little stone pack there. Original bumpers, so they kind of show their age a little bit. It's got the uh, five mile an hour bumpers. I know a lot of guys remove those. Good looking car. And I don't want to give you the idea that this car needs to be painted. I'm just telling you, there's definitely some things, you know, some little lift marks and some things like that, that you can kind of nitpick in the car. But uh, very nice car, good solid straight body on it. Really a good running and driving car. Uh, he's put aftermarket rack and pinion steering on it, so the car is nice and tight, kind of drives like a go-kart. Uh, original mirrors. Uh, this, this is a new glass, but I believe all the other side glass is original. Yeah, this and this is actually the original glass in the rear too, and it's nice. I think this color is super cool. I wish we had some sunshine, guys, but uh, Mother Nature has really taken a turn today. It is cold out here. Car's nice and flat down the sides. Um, uh, Firestone, uh, Firehawks all the way around it. Uh, it's got the uh, chrome magnums. Again, original bumpers. So you can see it does show its age on them. Uh, the boy, if you see this, the boys have gotten into some water or something. If you see that in the pictures, pulling around. Front disc brakes. Dual chrome mirrors. Again, it does have the matching numbers engine. Uh, you can see it's got the Holley dual feed four barrel on it. Uh, factory intake and exhaust manifolds. Um, it's got a comp, I think it's a 470 lift camshaft in it. Uh, uh, comp lifters in it. It's got comp springs in it. Uh, power rack and pinion steering, power front disc brakes, electronic ignition, does have the matching number 727 torque flight automatic trans with, uh, it's got a little shift kit in it, uh, Mopar radiator with a shroud. Two tagger. You can see your BS right there, factory uh, L, 
which is a uh, Los Angeles built car, and then your E7 uh, for your color. I think this color is cool. Like I said, I've never seen it. I can't tell you I, I've owned a ton of 74 Cudas. I've had a few of them, but uh, I've never seen one in this color. Uh, this is actually a remote mirror. You can see the stainless and stuff on it's nice. Car's only got 50, 50 some thousand original miles on it. There's your door tag. Factory black interior. Bucket seats, console, uh, factory rally dash with tack and gauges. Headliner's nice. Yeah, 55.963 on your odometer. Uh, aftermarket radio. It's got the. Uh, uh, he's got an aftermarket oil pressure gauge in it. Um, X pipe dual exhaust. I'm gonna show you this here too. You can look. You can see where he's. I'm sure uh, he had it cut and buff, wet sanded wheels. There's a little bit of a light spot when you look at it in there. Again, not horrible. But I want you to be aware of that. Um, eight and three quarter, three two three sure grip rear end. It does have traction bars on the rear. Factory jack with spares here in the trunk. I believe this car's had all the original body panels still on it. Uh, original broadcast sheet, owner's manual. Here's your receipts on the resto. Again, the car's been done for a while. It's uh, mid-90s. It is all body color in here in the trunk like it should be. are clean Seats are nice. Dash pad's nice. Console's in good shape. And yeah, original dual mirror. Yeah, little cam to it. Got great sound. We get around the back, you're gonna like the way this thing sounds. The fender mount turn, turn signals work. Tack, gauges, and then he's got your oil pressure down there. It's got good oil pressure. This is the sound. Car oh, just sounds awesome. Uh, it's got a power antenna. They said the power antenna runs, yeah. but the, the radio is just not getting no. the station. Is the power antenna's working? I don't know if the, uh, blower motor work? Blower motor does work, guys. Functional. Again, that power 
antenna is working, it's not as sure if their radio is not picking up a station. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram or our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, you can do that by clicking that little button there at the bottom. That way you can get a notification every time I post a new one of these videos. Hey guys!